Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Ace Combat Build More. Last episode we did Gelnikos, which is the first of three optional missions for this offensive campaign. This time around we're going to be doing Round Hammer, which is an air to ground mission specifically. We're focusing on enemy vessels, port facilities and the surface weapons north of the Futuro Canal. So it's going to be a little bit different from the one we did last. Now let me quickly get to grips. What have we got? We could buy the fish bed. Why not? Uh, we can't afford anything else. That's fine. What about special weapons? I should let. Since we're going to be maybe a UGB. Right. Okay. We just splashed all our cash. That's fine. So let's get into Round Hammer. And we're going, this is an attack. So it makes sense to go up in our only attack fighter, BF1. In terms of. I think I'm going to go with the UGB. Unguided Bomb. And we're going to go. Pixie, you're going to be on covering me, Jay. Pretty much. Let's go. Gong team, commence operation. Eliminate the threat north of the canal. So we actually have. There's the counter attack signal. I've been waiting a long time for this day. So we actually have enemy ships as well. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so we'll just be methodical about this. Why not? Remember, we are playing on the night base style for the first time around. First playthrough. They are what? Things look absolutely great for me. I'll have you know. That's a non-target. So we're going to leave these yellow ones because they are non-essential targets. I got a little bit. Playing you there, I was not flying very well. It's been a while since I played, to be fair. Sometimes there's a bit of a break in between videos when I record them. I didn't quite manage to get that submarine. That's okay, but that's what second passes are for. I love the radio char. Radio char just brings such a good element to these games, I think. Oh, don't worry. I know. I've been. I, I know. I, I'm gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Where's that? Um, there's a. There's a extra target there that I can see that I can't quite target and I'll show off what the UGB does so there if I want to get a CPC just release like that there we go right that is all this left hand side completely wiped out so let's get the right hand side no you won't Try, but you will not succeed. You, you will definitely fail. I like the um, 
enthusiasm go to the show. Thanks. I am good. Ish. I try. Okay, so these oil tanks, we're not taking them down. Obviously, this is the beginning of the game, so we have very light, like, starter planes. It's the wrong thing that I'm targeting. Container ship, not what we're after. we go. Both of these two areas are cleared out. We can now move towards these uh, non-essential targets over here. There's two different kinds of non- oh, those are planes. That's a- that's an ace. Stilts. That's definitely- that's an ace. I don't know why I got aces on hard difficulty. There we go, our first ace of the game, taken care of. It's UGB this guy. Oh, it doesn't take him down. Oh, and missiles do, but the UGBs, so the UGBs do a lot less damage, which is weird because the UGBs are the special weapon. You think they would do more damage than your missiles, but never mind. There we go. One last battle group to take care of. Take out the air cover first. Yeah, we are. Two right. I've played Ace Combat 1, Ace Combat 2, 3, Distant Thunder, Squadron Leader. It's nice when you get a little bit of recognition like that. Right. I'll send two UGBs rather than one. And as you can see, when you damage some ships, they get neutralized rather than destroyed. Some more G three five Js. Fantastic, let's go. Where's my last couple of targets? Over here. Keep 
Oh, I forgot. Like, you don't actually have to destroy the ships. If you destroy their offensive capabilities, you'll just neutralize them. Oh, I, I completely forgot about that. That's something I should have done, should have mentioned. Well, I'm mentioning it now. So, like, this destroyer coming up on our view screen right now it only has what? It only has a destroyer. We can't target anything else but the actual destroyer, so we have to shoot it. But if it had like a SAM or something on it, like we could have just targeted the SAM and A gun instead. And that would have neutralized it. Target hit. Uh, a couple more fighter jets. Why not? We have the time. Oh come on, that was such a hit. I swear. Warning, the enemy's tracking you on radar. No use, I can't go away. Enemy command down. That's a kill for Gala 1. Go 2, Fox 2. Missile off target. Here we go, that's the last of their air cover down. Time to wipe out the final destroyer and end this mission. I had just enough missiles to do that there. The Belkin fleet and ground forces have been eliminated. Nice work, Com team. You got it. This should make your next operation a whole lot easier. I think you unlock different planes. I was I think you unlock different planes depending on which mission you do. We should have gotten an a air shrink there. Hammer was a success. Yeah, no air shrink. Your actions greatly contributed to the overall success of campaign number 4101. The acquisition of this sea lane will prove to be an invaluable resource to our forces. It was fun. We wiped out a lot of stuff. And we unlocked the F-20A, which I'm very sure is different from what we unlocked the last time in Juggernaut um, in, Gleek, in Operation Gleeknos. I'm pretty sure that's an uh, assault aircraft as well. So anyway, when we come back, we'll be doing the third version of this mission. I can't remember what it's called, but we'll be back for that. So we'll see you then.